Hey, this is Chris with Vid Society, and in this video, I want to show you how you can make YouTube intro videos for free using a tool called Canva. Now, I'll put some links below this video that'll take you where you can access the resources that I mentioned in this video. But what I've done is I went ahead and I created a very short intro here, and it took me about five minutes to do. I'm going to play it and let you guys see it so you can see what you can do using this tool on creating YouTube intro videos. Okay, so that's all there is to it. So if you're looking to create intro videos, I want to show you how to do it. This is my Canva editor. This is where I came in to do all my editing, editing my elements, backgrounds, text, animations, and all this stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scratch this and we're going to start completely over again as if you just now set up your free account with Canva. Now Canva also has a premium version. It's about $13 a month. You do not have to have that to be able to create these types of videos. But if you do have the premium version, you're gonna have access to all the templates, all the media, all the resources that are included within Canva. Whereas with the free version, you are limited and you're not gonna have as many options. So just keep that in mind. So when you sign up with an account with Canva, the first thing you wanna do is come up to the search box and you wanna type in YouTube intro and of course you can create all different kinds of stuff with YouTube from your graphics and videos and everything using Canva but we're just going to focus on the intro in this video now when you do this it's going to open up all these templates that you have access to now depending on whether you have the free version or not you're not going to be able to access all these templates so if I hover over these you'll see in the bottom right hand corner where it says free that means if you have the free account, you can use these templates. And there are a few rows here where they're all free. And then once you get below that, the rest of them are if you have the premium or the paid account. And what these templates do, basically you just click on one and then you can go in, you can edit the text, you can edit the images, the animations on them and have a logo or not a logo, but a YouTube intro made really quick. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up here and we'll go ahead, I'm not going to start completely from scratch because that'll take too long. Uh, but we can come down here and I'll go ahead and click on this one here. This is a free one. So maybe you're trying to create a tutorial video or review video or something like that. You can use this template for that. So we're going to click on that. And it's going to bring us in here so where we can edit it. Now editing is super simple and you have a lot of different types of resources and tools to really make it do whatever you want to. So you can see it has a couple animations already on here and you can click on these, you can delete them, you can move them around. It's a simple drop and drag editor. Uh, you can click in the text box and you can edit this text and change it to whatever you want to. And you have a full editor up here where you can change to all different kinds of fonts. You can change the size, the colors, uh, positioning, effects, and the animations of the text is how it appears in the video. So what we're gonna do is I don't want this uh, this little video clip right here. So I'm gonna click that and delete it. And I'm gonna move this out of the way. We're going to click on this text and I wanna center that. So I'm gonna come up here and click alignment and it's gonna center it for me. And I also don't like the font. Um, first thing I wanna do is make it a little bit smaller. And then we're gonna change the font. So I'll come up here in the drop down menu and let's just go through a few of these and see what looks good. That doesn't look too bad. And of course, depending on your channel and what you're doing, the, the font that you use uh, is gonna be a lot different because you want it to kind of relate to your channel. I'm just gonna do this right here for mine. I also do not like this background color. Let me center this a little better right there. So. With the background, there's several things you can do. I can click the background and I can come up here. I can click the collars and change it to something else. Let's say this blue. Uh, that looks much better, I think. So we can leave that like that if we want to. And if we wanted to, we could be done with this intro right here. So I could come up here and click play. And that could be our intro that fast in just a couple minutes have one made but let's say you want to do a little more to it you want to make it a jazz it up just a little bit more so what we could do 
is we get to come over here to the elements. So this is where you can access all the resources that Canva has to offer. And we can come up here and we can click or just type in animations. I've already done that, so I'm just going to click on it. And then we have all these different animations we can use. And once again, if you hover over them, you'll see on the bottom right corner, it'll say free if they're free. So we could do, say, this one here. I can click on that. I can resize it just by simply dragging it. And maybe drag it up to here and do something like that there. So you could do that. Uh, we could scroll on down. And then we have this one, which is what I used in the example video. You have stars. Uh, you have this here is pretty neat. We can click on this and then we can drag it down maybe to the bottom. And then what we'd want to do is come up here to position and move it backwards so it's actually going behind the text instead of in front of it. So if we click backwards, now you can see that the text shows up in front of it so it's not messing it up. So that looks pretty neat. If I don't want that, I can just click delete and get rid of it. And then we can scroll on down and and, and this list, it just goes on forever, it seems like. There's just so many different resources it has in here. Uh, maybe these little stars here. That goes really good with the collars. So I could do that and then maybe turn it just a little bit. And keep it right there. Okay, so that looks good. But the background, I still don't like. It's just a plain blue. Uh, this thing here looks out of place. So I'm going to click on it. I'm just going to maybe turn it upside down and drag it down there like that but I still don't like this blue background and I'd like to replace it with an actual video clip so what I'm gonna do is come over here on the left hand side and I want to come down to videos you can see here here's some that I've used recently I do have the pro version so I can use these ones here if you don't have the pro version like I said um, you can still have access to a lot of these clips what I'm gonna do is we'll come up here and uh, this one here actually might be pretty good So if I click on it you could use something like this. So let me show you how it works. What you would do is you drag it over here and then you would resize it. And then what you're going to do is come up to position and you're going to send it all the way to the back. So all the other objects are on top of it. So we're going to click on two back. So it's like that. Now you can't see it very well. So what we want to do is add a collar on top of it and then adjust the opacity so you can see through it a little bit. So we'll come up here to elements and I'm, I'm going to click uh, where it says lines and shapes you can actually come over here where it says see all and you get all different kinds of lines and shapes you can do I'll just click on this one here and I'm going to also drag it I'm going to resize it and then I'm going to change I'm going to come up here and click on collar and change it to black and then I'm going to position this and I want to send it all the way to the back but then I'm going to send it forward one time and what that's going to do is it's going to put it right in front of the video clip so the video clip is still clear at the bottom and the black is right on top of it now what we can do is we can click on this click on opacity and we can turn it down a little bit and you can see how it's bringing that uh, background now into the picture and actually um, let's send it back one more there we go now this is on top of it too and then once we do that we can click play to see what it looks like alright so that looks pretty neat now you'll notice up here it says it's 16.5 seconds that's way too long for an intro most people would probably leave before they ever even watch your video so what I recommend you do is you want to click on the background okay so if I click right here this is the overlay the black overlay let me uh, move it down out of the way and click on this video clip in the background we have that selected now so you can see right here it says this clip is 16 and a half seconds so we're going to click on this and we're going to make it a lot shorter so we're just going to drag this all the way down and we're only going to make it say five and a half seconds and click done and then I'm going to take this overlay I'm going to drag it back up over top like that and then now you can see it's 5.5 seconds so if we play it now okay that's much better um, let's say I don't want this to say video editing tutorial though so I can double click in here um, highlight this text and I can say uh, create YouTube 
intro videos. And it's in the way of the stars, so I can do a few things. I can make the text smaller. Whoops, let's highlight all the text and make it smaller. Let's try 96. We need it bigger than that, so we can just hold this down and do that. And then the stars, let's make them a little bit smaller and move them down here like that. All right, so we have this, and if I wanted to, this could be my intro, just like that. And really, it's you can make any kind of intro as if you're really creative, you can do some really fancy things with this just using the free version of Canva because there's so many different elements and so many different things you can do with it. Um, but you heard the music in the background too, so I want to talk about that. Down here, you can see that it adds this um, music called Take You. And so that's what that is. You can also upload your own audio if you want to use that. The way that works is you'd come over here and click on audio. And these are all of the audio files and there are so many of them. And so it adds this one here automatically, which I believe uh, is free. So you can just automatically use that for your intro if you want to. I don't use the audio from here, so I can't say a lot about it. Um, what I use is from called Epidemic Sound. I've been using this for a long time. I'll put a link below to where you can get um, a trial to this. It's like $15 a month. You can add your YouTube channel to it. And when you do that, you won't get no copyrights. Um, you're free to use any of the sounds on here. And so this is where I get all of mine. I'll come up here to albums and I'll do a search for, uh, let's see, we'll go to advertising promos and trailers and we have all different kinds of different music we can use and these albums just go on and on and on there are it seems like millions of audio files on here but anyways um, let's go back here and what I done is I downloaded audio from that so I, I went to my uploads where I uploaded my own media and if I go to audio and so this is my audio file and what I would do is simply take this drag it and drop it and you can click on this to play it or not. So now that we have that added, we can come up here and click play to see the final result. Okay, and so that's all there is to it. And then when you're done, you can share the link. So maybe you're creating this for a client instead of for yourself. You can actually come up here and you can create a version of it and then copy this link and share it with them. And when you do, they can check it out, see if they like it or not. If they do, great, you can move forward with it. Otherwise, you can come up here and click on these three dots and you can click right here to where it says download. So if we click on that, it's gonna say MP4 suggested. You have a lot of other options here. You wanna make sure, make sure that MP4 video is selected and then you wanna click download and it's gonna ask you where you want to download it. Okay, and when it's done, it automatically saves your design for you, which you can find on the home page of your Canva dashboard. And then from here, you can continue editing or you can go back to your home page and start over with a new one. So this makes it great too, because since it automatically saves this, what we can do is let's say we create another YouTube video, we can go back home. And then right down here, you're gonna see this is the one that we just edited. So if I click this, it's going to open it right back up. So now if I want to continue using the same intro, all I have to do is just change this text out for my next video, download it, and it's ready that fast. And I can use this as the intro uh, in my video editing software just to add it at the beginning, about five, five and a half seconds, and you're ready to go. And you can do the same thing with outro videos too. Uh, but really, how you create your intro is pretty much limitless with the resources that you have with Canva, especially if you have the pro account. But that's it for this video, guys. So I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial on how to create YouTube intro videos. If you did, let me know by liking this video. Subscribe to my channel, click that bell. I'll be sure to notify you when I upload new training videos or reviews on products that I think you may find beneficial. Uh, but other than that, have a great day.